All right, so it's day number 15 of the 31 Days of NRV Fun Challenge, and we're here with Woody Crenshaw, owner of the Floyd Country Store. Now, Floyd Country Store is a old country store, plus has tons of music. Woody, can you explain a little bit more about the country store, what you guys offer, what it's all about? Yeah, well, the country store in Floyd is similar to country stores around the Appalachian region in that it has become the center of commerce and sort of culture for their communities. And in Floyd, for generations, people have played instruments and sang and, and sat around the wood stove and with their fiddles and banjos. And so we continue that, uh, that tradition here. So the country store now is offering music um, on Friday nights with our traditional jamboree, which is kind of a community gathering dance, music, gospel, and then on Saturdays 12 to 3 are the Americana sessions and that's more folk and blues and then on Sunday we have uh, traditional jam sessions, old time jams first and third Sundays and uh, bluegrass jams on the second and fourth Sundays. So you know there's, there's a, a constant flow of musicians and things happening here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Now, can you tell us a little about the history? Like, how long have you been having music at the Floyd Country Store? When, when did it open? Uh, just a little history about the building itself. Well, the store opened in 1910. Wow. And, uh, in fact, uh, right here on the wall is, uh, is some information from the old uh, writings about when the store opened. But it opened in 1910, and uh, music formally started here in the early 80s with the Friday Night Jamboree. But I think musicians have been playing in the store and gathering for decades. Uh, so we're carrying on a tradition here that's been going for a long time, and uh, we try to keep it as real and authentic as we can. Okay. Now going with the Friday Night Jamborees, I know those are, I'll say world famous. I've heard yeah. tons of people come from all over the country, yeah. across the world, just to come here and, and enjoy the music. Yeah. Um, can you tell us... Uh, how that got started and why you decided to bring music uh, at the country store? Well, my wife and I bought it about 10 years ago and it was well established before we, we got it. Uh, but with the Crooked Road coming into being and the Floyd Country Store being one of the original major venues of the Crooked Road, it has gotten a lot of publicity uh, around the country and the world. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, every week we have a little ceremony. We give a hat away to the person who's here from the furthest away. Very rarely is it someone from North America. It's almost inevitably somebody from, from out of the country. Uh, a lot of Europeans, uh, Asians, people from Australia, South America, they've heard about this old-time mountain music, this, this very traditional genre of, of mountain music, fiddle and banjo music, and uh, they have an, an, an amazing amount of interest in uh, the, this, this music here in America. Okay, that's world famous, <laughs> but you can't beat that. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, I guess my final question is, someone, let's say, you know, we have a lot of uh, young professionals, uh, college students, young yeah. families, from out the, throughout the New River Valley, they may have heard of the Floyd Country Store, but they haven't dri driven up to Floyd to like experience it themselves. Yeah. For those people, can you explain a little bit about what they will see when they get here and why they should take the drive up to Floyd and experience all the great stuff you have to offer? Well, coming up to Floyd is in itself uh, worth doing. Floyd has been called one of the best small art communities in America. And uh, it's full of artisans and musicians and craftspeople, galleries, nice restaurants, in a very small town. It's, uh, the, the country store uh, is a place to come to get a really, I would say, authentic uh, uh, impression of, of life in the 21st century in rural uh, Appalachia. It's a, it's a community uh, that uh, really supports the arts the country store not only has music and has these events, it has a very nice uh, a small restaurant that serves local food grown here in the county. 
uh, probably the best selection of old time and bluegrass music on the shelves uh, anywhere around. Uh, it has a, a, a variety of clothing. So it's a place to shop. It's a place to come and hang out, listen to some really good music, uh, and, and sort of be introduced to the Floyd community. And you guys are very friendly. You know everyone's invited. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, we, 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 interestingly enough, uh, the, the, there's a lot of young people from Radford and Virginia Tech who uh, come to the Floyd Friday Night Jamboree to dance, and uh, I'm, I'm always impressed by that. They, they seem to have a great time, they get out on the stage, they, uh, they are energetic, uh, it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of joy involved in it. So uh, I would say for people who haven't been to Floyd, it's a, it's a, it's a treat that you should uh, give yourself. Okay, well, sounds great. We know we're, we've enjoyed the night at the radio show. Been up here before for jamborees and other events. I always had a great time. Woody, thank you so much for taking some time to speak with us. You're most welcome, and thank you so much for your blog. It's a real good thing for us. All right, no problem. Thank you.